I'm standing in front of one of the craziest Pokemon card stores that I've ever seen in Japan. I booked this really last minute trip last week to go to as many different stores as I possibly could. And this one is honestly overwhelming. The sheer number of cards across so many different eras, all in the one spot. It just has to be seen to be believed. This store is called Torekakump and it's crazy. This is like the first step when you walk in and there's just rows and rows of cards. Modern stuff here. All the latest new sets. Old vintage cards from so, like, so many different eras. It is, it's crazy. There are just the sheer number of volume, like the sheer volume of cards right now that you're looking at across like decades is just crazy. So I figure we just start, we just start chronologically, I guess and you can just see for yourself. It's just, it's almost like a museum, just to see all the cars laid out like this, in this order. So, you're allowed to film in here, which is good. We got the tick, you like to see that. Now I'm gonna show you this real quick for reference. So, cars have got a little sticker on them. It's red, it's A minor, so it's blue, it's B. It's kind of a little bit damaged, and yellow, C, more damage than the others. Probably not worth brandy, but it still would be okay for your binder. So as we go along, you can just be the judge of the prices. I think, I mean, I'm traveling with Pokemon Steven. You may know him on YouTube as well. And he is pretty adamant that we're just gonna be ducking and weaving between, um, between customers and employees here. But he's pretty convinced that, you know, the prices in here, they're a little bit high. But I don't think you really need to worry too much about that. Um, because you kind of just like you know all, all the different cars that are in here. Crazy, so many old back cars. Rocket, all these different, just like crazy. And the lighting here is really good too, so you just like get to see all the artwork and the hollows. Just like glistening in front of you. It's crazy. So, so cool. And like we've barely even started. So I guess one really cool thing about this store is because it has such a large number of cars is that if it's something you need, like if you're specifically chasing a certain type of card and you don't want to buy it online, because I guess the issue with buying cards online is that it's kind of hard for you to judge the condition of them. If you come to a store like this while you're on holiday, like you can just see it for yourself. And you're probably paying a little bit of a premium, um, but I think if you're getting the card like in good condition, you're able to gauge whether it's got a scratch on the hollow. Because like a lot of these are red, right? The sticker's red, which means A minus. Which means the store's probably not grading it themselves. We've spoken to the store, um, so we know that they grade a lot of cards. So the fact that they grade a lot of cards means that a lot of the cards here are probably not worth grading. But to see them as like just red, which is A minus, or even the B, like if you just like inspect the B card, because I personally wouldn't buy anything less than the B, the blue one. Um, and you get a look at it, you can see for yourself like what the actual damage is. And if it's just like a little bit of whining on the corner and you're okay with that, if it's a binder copy, then like just go for it. But like these are quite pricey. And then you get like weird stuff like this. And I don't know why um, the Light Arcanine has such a price difference between the two of them, even though they're both state B. But that seems to happen quite a lot here in Japan where like there's a price on one card, it's exactly the same as the other card. Um, the condition is the same, but the price just like varies wildly. So. It is what it is, you kind of get used to it. I mean, I'm like fully desensitized to it after going to about like, what, 70, 80 different card stores in the last, what has it been, like six days? <laughs> I think this is the sixth day that I've been here doing this. Um, you kind of get used to it and you develop a bit of an eye for it. I'm by no means an expert at this, by the way. I've learned a lot on this trip, which is kind of why like, I wanted to come because I really wanted to just like get my hands dirty and just see like where the prices for cards are coming from, what are the conditions on the shelves, but Oh man, this, this store is just like sick. It has like everything. There's like a hole in your collection. There's a hole in your binder. There's like a high chance that this store has it. I'm actually looking for some Comia cards um, for a mate of mine. But this store doesn't have those. <laughs> Even though I said they've got so many cards, which is super, super lame. Sorry about that, Justin. Um, but it is what it is. Like they don't, not every store has everything. I'm actually gonna buy this um, VS Beedrill by Comia, just for a little video that I'm working on. Which I'm pretty, I'm actually quiet. I'm like really, really happy to finally find a card like that on the shelf. And like 280 yen is like, you know, three Australian dollars and that's like a, like a dollar fifty US, which is just so crazy. But yeah, it's wild. Like that's what that's what I'm, that's what I mean. Like there's just like a card like you have a specific kind of binder that you're just trying to fill out. 
um, you're gonna like you'll be unlucky if you come to a store like this. It's just so crazy. They have a lot of VS cards. No Umbreon though. Got the trainer mag promos there. Oh, actually, I, I'm gonna check those out. Twenty two thousand eight hundred for the trainer mag promos. It's state B seems okay. Um, I have them slabbed, but I want to put them in a binder. That seems like okay. Don't show. Um, don't show my girlfriend this video. She'll get upset if she sees that I bought that. Only because I did say I was going to come on a budget. And you know what happens every single... By the way, love my girlfriend. She's a legend. But you come here on a budget and then um, the goalposts shift. And then your budget goes out the window. But like, cards like this. Okay, see cards like this. Suicune, Hollow, like, State A-20,000 yen. It's really expensive. You can probably buy a PSA 9 or even like a PSA 10. You can only buy a PSA 9 in Australia for that price. So, I mean, it probably is a PSA 9. Um, the blue B minus is probably like a PSA 7. By the way, I'm by no means an expert on grading, but like I've learned a lot in the last five or so, five or so days. So I'm getting better at it. I'm starting to understand how to quickly appraise cards you know, rather than review them. It's the correct terminology, guys. But yeah, here we go. Okay, let's look at some more cards. So we got a lot of EX stuff here. Just crazy. You just seeing like all these here. Like if there's, man. And like if you come in here and you got a lot of money, you got money to burn, you will go crazy in here. And I feel like that's kind of like what this store is, like it's a bit of a tourist store. So they kind of want you to, um, they just kind of like want you to like explode your wallet here. So they put everything in one spot so that you're like, oh my God, there's so many cars. I don't know which to buy. And then you go into like purchasing overdrive and you buy stuff that you ordinarily wouldn't, which is a big trap when you come to Japan. Um, Especially the first time, if you've never been, you may get like overwhelmed very, very quickly. I think I'm gonna pick this up too for the little Kamiya collection that I got going on on this trip. But yeah, that's a big trap. I know that at least like the first few times that I came to Japan, I would go shopping. Um, I would get very like quickly overwhelmed and feel like I had to like buy everything. I've been seeing these a lot on the trip, but they're so expensive. So expensive for that. That's good, Nishida. I really want to pick one up. Um, but yeah, I just like couldn't justify. 22, like 27,800 is a lot. So probably gonna let that one sit for what's probably like a, a PSA seven or an eight. I don't know, there's just like, me personally, I don't like putting damaged cards in my binder, but you might, it's fine. There's a line for me. Yeah, as long as there's no damage on the front, which a lot of these don't look like they have. It's just so crazy. This nine tails, beautiful nine tails there. So good. Cards, man, all these DP cards. This is crazy. So many Diamond Pearl cards. Absolutely crazy. Trainer Mag promo there. Not bad. Probably want all three of them. The Celebi, Steelix, Amphros, Corky Saito. I actually don't think I have that one. I might have a look at that. Yeah, actually, I think I need that for my Corky Saito binder, so. Probably have a look at that. And like, I feel like it's okay if you come to a store like this and spend about 50 bucks. It's not too bad. It just depends what you're doing, really. Oh man, like, <laughs> this is like you barely even started. I kind of like just like go through slowly. So you can just kind of like soak in everything here. One thing I like about the store as well, they play like a lot of Pokemon music from the OST, so, which is really nice. It's just chill, really chill vibes in here. When it first opened, so it opened at one PM, it was just packed. It was so busy. There's so many people in here. So it's quieted down a little bit. I think they're running like a little, um, I can't tell if it's like a store run. It's probably a store run tournament. I don't even know if it's for Pokemon. But it's happening next door. Which is probably why there were so many people here in the morning. Crazy. Did we go past the um, Southern Islands promos? Because I know they are in here. I feel like I may have already gone past them. They're definitely in this store. I was looking at them just before. It's like I came in, I was doing a little bit of filming. I was like, nah, we gotta, we need to show the people what's going on in here. Sealed promos there, which is always cool to see. I don't mind buying sealed promos, honestly. I'm not, big, I'm not big of a grader. It's just, I like to have like very mint, clean copies in my binder, depending on the card. This is a really nice card for here. 
Gloom even is beautiful. Fukuda, Licking Tongue, I think I actually might buy this as well. Really cool. Hello, I've tried right there. I mean, I, I love cards like this. I think, I think this era is like super, super underrated. For art anyway, I think this was like the first peak for art after the first like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I went through um, like the first five or so years of Pokemon. So like looking at all this stuff was like really, really good. Just, how good does that look? Just like, that's one whole cabinet, right? So I feel like, like this era was great. And then there was like a little bit of a lull. Uh, and then like the GBA era was kind of like the, the advanced era kind of like dropped the ball a little bit um, But the diamond pearl era like picked it right back up again It's really hard to fault many cards from it Really cool. There is a wait, Are all the stores blending in one? No, yeah, this card's really cool Really nice comic illustration there and it's a holo too, which is awesome Store's going really quiet now, so a lot of people have just left, which is nice. So I may actually be able to show you a bit of a, just a scope shot. Yeah, let's do a bit of a scope shot. So like you walk in, all these cabinets here. So there's like a whole bunch of Pikachu promos here. A lot of promos in this cabinet. Sheer volume of promos is wild. And then you start a vintage as you go around the corner. <laughs> Look at this wall. Just gotta be careful not to get employees in this shot. So that's like one wall. Oh, I think we can do a quick. We might have to do it like this. And then behind that camera there, we can do a backwards one. Beautiful. This it's like the seas that literally just parted. Um, for me in this video <laughs> because everyone just left, and I can like fully show you. It's actually completely empty. Okay, so there's no one in the store now. That's crazy. And then behind me, there's this cabinet to the left. What will behind me right now? Yeah, I can show you. Cool. Sleeves, right? So if you're interested in sleeves, play mats. And then this here. It's like all the sealed stuff. It's a crazy, crazy cabinet. Graded English boxes as well. There, I guess while we're here, let's have a look. Summer promos, evolutions. Makaru, these are prizes for. Um, well, summer promos there's only three thousand. I'm not sure how many Lakaris are out there. I do know you have to win a tournament a specific time. Can't remember off the top of my head which one that is. It's the Pari on there. Crazy. Shining magic card. That Zard's not rare in English, but as a Japanese promo, it's very rare. Another prize, it was another tournament card. Slabbed cards here. So we're looking at modern now. Don't worry, we'll go back to the vintage and stuff. Trust, trust. Just try not to talk too loud. I know you guys, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you can hear me. Just try not to talk too loud. Because, um, yeah. Obviously, you don't want to be yelling in a store like this. Crazy. Trophy cards here as well. Well, one trophy card. Wild. Crazy, crazy stuff in here. Art collection books. 200,000 yen for the one with the Charizard, the first one. It's got the card in it though, which is cool. And that is one expensive art collection book. Sealed boxes, so many sealed boxes. And we got like more exclusive sealed boxes as well. Crazy. They're expensive. <laughs> They're very expensive. <laughs> Summer promos down here, as well as some old XY break boxes. Crazy. 1.3 million for that legend booster box. Yeah, no, that is. Southern Islands promo. Rocket Half Dead W. Crazy. These packs here. Look at this. Hi, thank you. 
こはそちらもですね恐れ入りますそうですスリーブロードから出していただいてで金額によっては恐れ入ります振り込みになってしまう可能性もございますそちらだけご了承ください still relatively quiet you know、Ooh. yep all right where were we so did we go past the southern island promo I feel like I'm thinking of a completely different store. So, no, we did. There we are. Okay, so they got them all here. New is 12,800 yen. I bought the, prom I bought the、um, postcard that has the new in it yesterday for 15,000 yen sealed. So I was pretty happy about that、um, because of the fact that the new alone, it just ranked B. It's 12,800. It's pretty solid. If you've never looked at Japanese Pokemon cards before and you're like, what is guy waffling about? He's like a Yapomatic Express. I do collect a lot of cards. <laughs> and like, price does play a part of it. It's not all about worth, but like anything, anything you're collecting, you want to get the absolute best deal that you can. So I'm always very conscious of that. And、um, with this being like the last leg of my trip as well, it's like the point where I'm picking up the cards that I've seen earlier on the trip that I kind of held on. And if it's like, you know, 100 or 500 yen difference upwards, it's fine. It's just like, gotta pull the trigger now.、Um, but if you're finding it for less, then you're very, very happy because it means that your patience was rewarded, which you like. Okay, let's look at some LVX stuff now. So much here. There's like a lot to choose from. So much to choose from. It's wild. It just depends what you're collecting, really. Maybe you never collected before in your life and you wanna get, you wanna start. I mean, <laughs> You'd be able to build a very nice looking binder coming into a store like this with a bit of cash. It's crazy. It's just like the vault. Like just, yeah, just get a load of the volume of cards all in the one spot. Wild. Really nice l u x r a y Oh, that's actually a promo. I was like, why is this one so expensive? It's a promo. I bought the, the regular print version of it yesterday. So that was cool. I'm not the biggest fan of LVX cards, to be honest, TBH.、Um, but I know people like them. Gardevoir's nice. You, you can't really go wrong with Gardevoir. I feel like I bought some of these、um, when I was here for Worlds in August last year. For more than that. So, a lot of the prices have come down since Worlds. All these are nice. Ooh. It's 3,000 yen for the human or Giratina is a bit. I definitely bought that Shamey yesterday for less than that, so that's cool. Cool, okay. We take those. I want to have a look at these laddie, the Laddies here, but again, I think they're just a little bit too much.、Um, considering like the binder, you probably get the binder for like 10,000 to 15,000, and then it's like not really working a single. Love that dark ride though. All right, let's move on. I like this gen a lot. Now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. A lot of Kusajima cards in this, in this era. And I think this is like when their style started to like evolve as well, just like change a lot from their earlier works. I think I do not own this Kulka Soto t o r i n o t a r So I may have to have a look at that too. That's how they get you. It is how they get you. You're like, yeah, $15. $15. What's that,、uh, American? You know, $14.80 yen? $10 USD? Yeah, that's not all of them. And then you get like five cards and you get $100. Rip. I need to get this Raichu actually. I can never find this in good condition. Probably better off just buying like the deck that it's in, but it... $14.80 seems like a decent price. I'll have a look to see what the quality of it is. Some legend cards here. Okay. Some stores lay the legend cards out like. Vertically, so you can see them, I guess, as they were intended to be combined,、um, but not all stores do. This store has not. Beautiful stuff in here. If you're into this era of cards, you're like fully cooking, but they are very expensive. Like, if you wanted to get one, what, if you want to get like 10 of these, you're looking at like what? A thousand Australian, what, 800 US? It gets up there. Isn't crazy down here? The promos down there. So cool. Let's have a look at the legend cards. And they have a lot. They have a lot. I've seen these legend cards for cheaper than this. 
across the trip, which is nice. Um, they're not all like super overpriced. But I think because this is like a tourist heavy shop, they will list them very high because they know people will come and buy them. And that, my friends, is Business 101, eh? All right. Crazy. This, these three, like six displays, it's just like crazy. All right, now we're moving on to the black and white and XY era closing in on sun and moon. So we're getting to like more modern stuff. Let's have a look. You're gonna see a lot, like a lot of secret rares. And probably like the best types of secret rares too. I think secret rares peaked here. But if they went downhill. Yeah, I think black and white secret rares with a P. And they got worse progressively over time. I mean, Sun and Moon black, uh, Sun and Moon full art secret rares are probably some of the worst. Granted, we didn't have special arts at this time. So this was like the best of the best. But it's just a big shame that the full arts didn't stay as good as these are. The gold outline on all these, like the Krogon. So the Krogon is like a really good color. It's the gold outline's awesome on them. Cress, Ryko. 1480, my jeez, those are cheap. I guess they're not that popular, but damn, like. And for us, 12, 12,800. It's a shame you can't see all of these in like their full glory. But like, look at this, just like zoom out. Just like zoom out and have a look at how many there are. If you've, if you've ever held like cars like this in your hand, just like a massive amount of them, it's a crazy feeling. Crazy feeling. I was fortunate enough to do that recently. Not mine, um, but it was cool. <laughs> it was like, satisfies, um, I don't know, like when you're a kid, you always think about like doing something crazy like that. So to do it as you get older, it's like cool. Just like high-fiving your 10 year old self. <laughs> Skylar, there's like so many of them here. Damn, 128,000. That is the promo. But because you know the store is grading a lot, because they're selling a lot of graded cards. Bit of a risky buy. You know. Crazy. So many. Colrus, 2,280 yen. I, State D, probably still won't buy that. This just seems like a bit of a waste. I don't want it that much. Yangar 19800. Again. State D. State C. Probably not going to do that. But I would look. I'll gladly have a look. These are really... Okay, so these are cool cards. Don't get me wrong. Love these cards. I think this is the first, like, special art by Nagimiso. I actually think it's the first card illustrated by Nagimiso. Or well, first two cards. Um, Aqua... Aqua Kyoga and Magma Grudon. They're really, really expensive. You see them for about 30,000 yen, and they're close to mint, gem mint, um, but 44,800 yen, and it's probably not a PSA 10. I would not would not buy that, but I will gladly look. Gladly look. They actually got more of it to the left. It's nice reverses. Crazy. Um, I keep saying crazy, but like I'm sure you're feeling it too. Come on. You feel it too, don't you? This is actually crazy. There are. Tell me this isn't crazy. A couple of Charizards down here, CP6. 24,800 yen. If you don't have one, God of War. CP3, I'm pretty sure. That got expensive. Concept pack, Pokecune. That set got very expensive. CP6 hollows here, so 20th anniversary Japan. So now we're at the like, you know, we're at the two decade mark here. We've progressed through the era in this store. See what I mean? How it's like a bit of a museum. It's essentially a Pokemon card museum, but without being a museum, it's a store. And they have one of the craziest displays. Where are these here? 
Pokecube, Concept Pack 3. It was crazy. The box price for that was like sealed. It was like wild for so, so long. And then the singles were just like way behind it. And then all of a sudden the prices of all those singles went crazy to match the price of the box. Like these are, you know, you get a few of these out of a box. Um, great cards though, they tell a bit of a story. You guys already know that, I'm sure. The Charizard there, growing up with a little kid, Charmander. Charizard's missing. But even they are super expensive. Love this Raichu, uh, Raichu, sorry. So sick. All right, I reckon it's time for the Sun and Moon block. And there's so many here. So many. So this is where we first started getting special arts. And there are a lot in here. And as you may or may not know, Sun and Moon special arts are really expensive. Expensive in English, even more expensive in Japanese. Look how many, oh my gosh. Look at it, I can't get over it. I'm just not gonna let it go. I'm just not letting it go. birds there. It's just a shame that they're like, if, like, it depends. Seeing them all stacked up, so like seeing bunches of them is cool. Being able to see like the arts though, more spread out. Oh, look at them. See what I mean by the lights in here? Look at that. Like, listen. Being able to see the art a little bit better would be a little bit cooler, but oh my god. Look how cool this looks. Just seeing so many of them. Bro. There's Erica's there. Whitney. Adenia. Misty. TV reporter. Green. Mars. Lana. Saw that new Lana that got revealed. SAR. Looks awesome. I think it's Toshina Aoki that drew that. The, the new SAR that's going to come out in this song. Um, Blood Moon set. Crazy. Bro, even like Bill's maintenance, like 14800 is crazy. But the box of that set's from is expensive, so that is why. Sheesh. Look at these lilies. Alright, look at these lilies. Look at them. Oh my god. There's just so many. 44,800. It's a thousand yen card. It was a ten dollar card. What a set though. Dreamly. Goaded set. Probably the set of all time. I think many would agree that Dreamly is the set of all time. Oh my god. It does, like it actually doesn't end. It feels like it does not end. It just keeps going. I got tired. I came in here, I was filming, I'm like, man, I need a break. I'm gonna get some water. I'm getting cooked. Look at this, wait, hang on, look at this. Bang, cinematic, eh? IMAX, 4K, 60 FPS. When have you seen that many cards like that before? Jesus. All right, GX Tag Team All Stars. The Swan Song of Sun and Moon. Beautiful. Don't you love some gold trainer and item cards? Rainbows, no one cares about these. I, was, I said I was gonna actually do like a bit of rainbow shopping on this trip, but I didn't do any. Uh, it's hard, like I had a couple of golds and I kicked them, so I was happy about that. But it's like hard to like hit multiple targets on these trips. Because you just get distracted. Like I'm slow in these stores. I'm very slow in these stores. I'm so gonna roll up. Um, you just get like so distracted by stuff though. There's a couple of ultra shiny GX though. So like the best shiny version, like the best shiny set. The first one. A couple down here. Charizard, 69,800, 89,800 for the red version, A minus. Sylveon. I'm not a big Ultra Shiny GX selection there. And now we move on to 
also in Shield Hero. Arguably the peak of Special Arts? I don't know. You, I don't know. I think. I still think of the Sun and Moon. But there's some bang of Special Arts from Sword and Shield Hero. Lighting is actually working very hard against me right now. And we're going to have a look at all these EV Hero cards. If I just like zoom out, you can see them all there. There's like two full rows of EV Heroes basically. All these Sylvia, look at so, like look at them flaring on five. Sylvia on five. They've probably got more in the back. Eight Leafion, Espion. So many. I feel like that's like a kind of a decent price. Nine nine thousand nine hundred eighty yen. I picked them up for that much, but like gem mint um, across the trip, which is pretty cool. That salary promo. There's so many of those. In the wild, not on this shelf. Jolteon. Pretty sure that's in the game song. Yeah, it is. A minus, 11,800. Seems pretty good. Glaceon, look at that. Just seen them all in one spot. Vaporeon. Crazy. There's the Umbreon. Two Umbreon V. One extra Sylveon. A Sylveon V Max. Two Umbreon V Max. $21,800. Is that how much the English versions were? I hope so. Because I got two I want to sell. Any buyers in the chat? Inteleon paid a lot of money for those when that first came out, so we're just going to quickly move on from the Inteleons. It's a very sad reminder. Metacham, many yoga loopers in the chat. Genesex, Muse. Very underrated Mew by Naki Saitor. This is where the Rayquaza VMAXs would be from Blue Sky Stream if I had them. But there's a Rayquaza V, some Dragon IVs, great card. Shout out to my Lost Box enjoyers. New VMAX, Akadegawa, super underrated card, really. One of the most underrated special arts from last gen, but we move, we move. People didn't like it because it looked too much just like a regular VMAX. There's a very loud car outside because I can hear it from two floors up. Minion. Man, that is a loud car. Bro, we are two floors up in a concrete building. Underrated car. The Dialga V. We see how it though. Super underrated. Dirtina. Where are my sword shield enjoyers at? Very expensive in Japanese. This was when, like, when this card came out, I think this is when all like the Japanese special art cards went crazy in price. Mewtwo's, nobody cares about those. Mordialga's, Lugia. It's come down quite a bit, it used to be like a 50,000 yen card. Espeon VMAX, Corgi Scythor. Exclusive to the EV Heroes uh, gym box. Th that gym box is like 100,000, 120,000 yen. You do have two EV Hero Booster Boxes in there. But I still feel like this promo is undervalued. But yeah, let's do a, let's do a cool one. You ready for this? Wang. So many cards. Crazy. Just crazy. Gold. Not everyone's favorite. Not everyone loves these, but they have them all. They got a lot of cards. Feast of Universe Golds. Crown Zenith Golds in English. There's a lot of them. There is a bucket load of those. And then you have a lot of gold item and trainer cards. Which is great if you're a player. I wish we had stores like this um, back home in Australia. We could just get like max rarity. Uh, Max rarity playables, but it is what it is. We do not have this back home in Australia. All right, now we got Sword and Shield trainers. The Marnie, let's get a close look at those. The price of those has dropped a lot, especially since August. It's a really expensive card. I think it was like, what, 1,000, 1,500. Serena's, still playable, still expensive. Marnie's Pride was never really like that great of a card. Oof, well, could be a whiplash for you. Shiny Star V Marnie, 20,000 yen. I was selling them here for 50,000 yen in August, which is cool. 
can take those. Shield mining. Sounds like not, not a bad time to buy this. If you're like a full art trainer collector and you miss the Japanese, like me. I say that, but I still won't buy one. It's just like way too expensive. There's just too many other cards I want to get. Messes. And then we move on to some of the more recent stuff. So we're back at Beast Star Universe. Brilliant stars. Paradigm Trigger. Just so many. Like I said, if you're looking for max, if you're trying to build max rarity decks, you're cooking. The rotations already happened in Japan, so like a lot of these Sword and Shield cards that are not playable anymore have just smacked in price. I'm pretty sure you. Yeah. Avery can't play it anymore. I'm pretty sure. I don't think you can play Avery anymore. Karin is focused. Raihan, I love that card. It's such a sick card. Kurosaki. And we're back at the rainbows. And I don't think people really care too much about rainbows. <laughs> Let's be serious. And then you have all these art rares. So many. Look at this. It's like art rare mania. So many. Like literally every art rare. If you need one, it's here. Although, you know what I will say? They don't have this one here. Sold out. Charming. It's from a, uh, it's from a deck box. Kanto Triple Starter set. No, I can't remember the Japanese name fully. And we got some V-Star Universe on the And I'm pretty sure they got all of them. <laughs> some Dream League stuff here as well. Everyone loves Dream League. Crazy. This is like, that's what I mean, like it's just everything. You've just seen everything. You've literally just seen every era. I just gave you every single era of Japanese Pokemon cards in like one shot. I mean, it's not my shot, but I just showed you. You know what I'm saying. They gave it to you. I delivered it. You know what I'm saying. Then <laughs> it circles back to the classic collection and 25th anniversary cards. So these are 25th anniversary promos. Our times have changed. Times have changed. And classic collections aren't. These cards look sick. They look so good. Really cool cards. They just look amazing in here. And not just the Charizards, like all of the cards from it. The hollow effect looks so cool. So, so cool. Small promos. Champion League promos. Energies. Again, if you're a player and you're looking for energies, you can't use these Japanese energy cards in your deck, but like, just look how many energy cards there are. <laughs> if you're playing and you're trying to use like retro, or like you're trying to use like vintage energy cards in your deck. A lot of people like to do that. It's very easy if you're in Japan. And they got some slab saw. So, this is their slab collection. So again, it has a whole, it's got two cases to itself. So if you're a slab collector, not bad. I feel like I definitely paid a lot more than that for mine. And I'm pretty sure the person that I bought it from watches the channel. So if you're watching, but you're pretty proud of yourself, aren't you, buddy? Put yourself on the back. Good old J-Lo. Smacked him silly. Let's have a look at some of these old Shiny GX 10s. Crazy the tens are so like I would say low. A greater card. Sick Pikachu. Very popular Pikachu here. It's a Sylveon is a ten. Magikarp PSA ten. Charizard PSA ten. Or Reshizard, sorry. Magikarp Way Lord, sorry, chat. I'm really on Dark Ride. I feel like I see this for Raw in Japan for like 50,000 yen, so it's not too bad for a PSA time. Sylveon, 100,000 yen, 1,000 Australian dollars, PSA time. And some more down here. 
what are master balls down here? And I guess this is what I was saying earlier in the vid. Um, a lot of the, what you're seeing on the shelves is like what didn't, I probably wouldn't grade. So rather than grade it and get an eight or a nine, they just sell it as a raw. And then you can see their tens in the shelf here. Or where they thought it would have ten and then at nine, and they're just gonna sell it anyway. I'm not too versed on PSA prices for these here, so I don't know if this is good or if it's bad. I kind of just like vibe check it. What are Delta Species hollows here? It's crazy those Delta Species hollows. That's 10, they're so expensive. Usually the centering on those is really bad. Even I know that. <laughs> the X's are here. It's a cool right here. Wild. There's some easier stuff too. I think these are really overpriced though. Trainer mag promos. Not these. Oh, that's why. Sorry, it's a web promo. No, these aren't. No, they're not even the trainer mag promo. What was that? It's 100,000 yen for the PSA 10 of the Moltres. Called Disciple. It's crazy. Trophy cargo? Is it a trophy card? I thought Steven. So clean. They do have a lot of modern stuff in here as well. You can see all these modern chase flight trainer cards. The Ionos are there. The Clay Burst and the Shiny Treasury X Ionos. Miriam, how she has fallen. I've seen that for much cheaper on this trip. Actually, that 29,800 price isn't too bad. I don't think I'm gonna buy it yet. I think I'm just keep waiting. <laughs> I said to myself that I'd buy it on this trip, but I don't think I wanna spend $300 on one card just yet. Iono has dropped a lot. 69,800 yen. Don't remind me how much I paid. You forget about that. Again, it's so easy if you're looking for a playset here. They have a lot of modern though. All the modern is here. In these cabinets. You can see down here. We'll do a quick look through the modern. There's one last thing I want to show you that's just so sick. And I almost missed it too. It was the last thing I noticed. I almost walked out of the store without actually properly looking at it. But it's wild. Crazy. A lot of modern ultra rares, special art rares. 151 star. Just wild. Crazy. Sards, 17,800 yen. From Shiny Treasury, yeah. Some uh, very late Sword and Shield stuff. Towards the end of that era. Well, that, yeah, era. It wasn't that long ago. So they do have a lot of one or two, but they got this. This is where I'm gonna wrap things up for you guys. So, this cabinet here, I think it has like a pack, chronologically, or as best as they possibly can from so many different generations. So. Let's just, yeah, I'll, I'll just show you and then we'll pan out, all right? Some promo packs there. Look at this, this is crazy. Okay, this is crazy. So many packs, just all here. I love that. I love the um, shocking vault tackle for 380 and just... But he's in the wrong postcode. You lost, mate? Sun and Moon. Moving to Sword and Shield. And then getting through Scarlet Violet very, very slowly. By far, when it comes to sheer volume and variety of cards, this store takes the cake. I've been to so many stores on this trip, and I got a lot of videos where I'm going to show you all those stores, so make sure to subscribe and like. And I've actually been vlogging them, so if you're a channel member, you got full access to those, but I have a lot of videos in the works. I can't wait to show you guys, so make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and thanks as always for watching. See you in the next one.